please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Teachers, please take attendance and do a quick dress code check. Thank you. February is Black History Month. During the month of February, we will be celebrating influential black people who have made an impact. Also, visit the Southport Middle School Library webpage for a moment in time feature to read about influential black people throughout history. Baseball is right around the corner. Optional workouts will take place February 28th and 29th after school in the SMS main gym until 4.30 p.m. each day. Boys should bring a glove and indoor tennis shoes. No bats, please. Pickup is outside door six. See you there. Seventh and eighth grade boys volleyball kickoff with two volunteer workouts after school on February 29th and March 5th. Official tryouts will be held on March 11th and 12th and 14th after school. Boys are strongly encouraged to attend both sessions. Pickup time is at five o'clock. There will be a golf meeting with students and their parents on March 4th in the middle school cafeteria from 3.15 to 3.45 p.m. Please use door 12 to enter. The track and field season will begin on Thursday, March 5th. Pickup time is at 4.30 at the track. All athletes need to have final forms paperwork completed, a physical, tennis shoes, and running shoes to participate in practice. Please make sure you are prepared for any type of weather because we will be going outside to run rain or shine, hot or cold. If you have any questions, please reach out to your coach. The girls coach is Coach Spalding. The boys coach is Coach Seaton. There will be a volunteer softball workout on Friday, March 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. in the SMS main gym. Enter door six. Please bring inside athletic shoes and a glove. No bats, please. On last Thursday, the Cardinal wrestling team defeated Lynnhurst 111 to 12. We are now 17 and 0 and looking for Mo. Next meet is home Tuesday versus Speedway. This is Teacher Appreciation Night. The honoring of an educator begins at 5 o'clock. Meet starts at 5:30. Come out and support your Cardinal wrestling team. Quarter three celebration will be held in the gyms on Friday, March 15th. It will include obstacle courses, bungee basketball, jousting, human foosball, and so much more. To qualify and be invited to this event, students need to have no more than two tardies, no SCRs, no more than one D, and no Fs. Keep your grades and behavior in check so you are able to attend our fun celebration. February 29th is Steam Night from 6.30 to 7.45. Stay tuned for more details about this exciting event. In order to avoid being dress coded, all students are required to wear a collared shirt every day, even under a quarter zip shirt, sweatshirt, or sweater. Students are not allowed to wear a full zip jackets, coats, or hoodies throughout the day. Please place these items in your locker. Also, students are not allowed to, are not permitted to wear leggings. Please continue to show dress code so that you can have a smooth and productive day. Come dine and donate at Jaggers on US 31 South on February 26th from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Jaggers will donate 20% of your purchase to Southport Middle School when you dine in or drive through. Either show the cashier the flyer or simply mention Southport Middle School when placing your order to participate. Let's show how to support our school with some good food. I'm Mr. Miller and I'm one of the school counselors. I have a special announcement for our seventh graders today. So eighth grade classrooms, you can go ahead and switch off the announcements now. Seventh graders, we've been having a great year. I hope you finish up strong in our last quarter, continue to do good work. 
But as we get ready for next year, there's some exciting things to look forward to. And one of those would be what kind of elective classes you're going to take. So this morning, I want to walk you through the process because this is your week to sign up and let me know what you want to take for electives next year. So I'm going to walk you through the process now. First, a reminder to those of you who are in music that we would expect most of you to continue on next year. However, if there's some reason you want to stop your participation, make sure that you've already told your teacher. If not, the absolute deadline is this coming Monday. Now, for the letter that you are to receive in advisory this morning, please make sure that you take this letter home to your parents. Talk with them about your choices, and then you'll need to follow the directions on the letter to complete your preferences in the online form by next Thursday. Make sure as you're doing that that you're logged into your account. Sometimes you might borrow a brother or sister's computer and forget that you're logged into theirs. That's not going to register your choices correctly, and so you won't have your preferences noted. You might get the wrong electives. Lastly, make sure that you double check your choices before clicking Submit. However, I want you to know that up until the deadline, you can edit them. So how do you find the link for the elective choices? Well, first of all, start off at your resource portal. Now, don't do this now with me because you can't select your choices yet anyway. The form isn't active yet until tonight. But just follow along. So at the resource portal, you'll go to the Schools tab. You'll go down to Southport Middle to find our school's website. Once you're there, look across the top for the Counseling tab. Under Counseling, you'll find Scheduling. That's where you'll want to go. This has both our 7th and 8th grade elective choices, so make sure that you're looking at just the 8th grade choices. There is your form, though. You're currently a 7th grader, so you'll use this elective choice form. That's the link. There's also links to the informative letter that you're taking home today and this particular video that you're watching now. As you scroll down, you'll see the different electives, and you'll notice links for videos for each of them. This gives you the opportunity to hear from the teachers themselves in many cases so you can find out more about the course. You might also ask some of your older friends who have had the classes what the class is like so that you can make the best decision for you. Now remember, you have one week to complete this. After next Thursday, it will be closed. But take some time, think it over, talk with your parents tonight, and tonight or this weekend, complete the form. You'll be ranking the four choices in order from number one being your favorite down to number four being your least favorite. We look forward to a great year next year, and I look forward to seeing what classes you'd like to take. Make sure you take time to charge your Chromebook so your Chromebook will be charged and ready for the next school day.